The proper preparation of bone marrow smears for microscopic exam is the single most important aspect of the bone marrow biopsy procedure. Subtle abnormalities will not be detected on poorly prepared material, delaying patient diagnosis, or worse, causing a misdiagnosis. This film summarizes proper marrow smear preparation. The starting material is a fresh, non-anticoagulated marrow aspirate in a syringe. Anticoagulant, especially heparin, can cause severe cell artifact and should always be avoided in the marrow being used for the morphologic exam. Specific anticoagulants, however, are required for separate marrow specimens being submitted for flow cytometry, cytogenetics, and molecular diagnostics. Upon collection, the marrow aspirate is immediately expelled into a watch glass. Working quickly before the specimen clots, the marrow is dropped onto several glass slides as shown using a Pasteur pipette. The technician preferentially aspirates visible particles from the edge of the marrow specimen in the watch glass. Next, the marrow droplet is spread by applying the top back of the adjacent slide gently over the drop. In a smooth, continuous movement, the top slide is pulled across the lower slide, evenly spreading the marrow. The result is an oval of evenly spread marrow aspirate over the center of the slide. These slides are then allowed to air dry completely. The smear is then packaged and sent to ProPath. An alternative spreading method is shown here. The edge of the adjacent slide is brought back at an angle to the marrow droplet. Once capillary action distributes the droplet along the angled slide edge, the slide is moved forward in a continuous action spreading the droplet. These slides are then allowed to air dry completely and sent to ProPath for staining. Trefine imprints are an often forgotten but essential part of bone marrow histopathologic diagnosis. These are primarily used by the hematopathologist as a backup for poor or dilute marrow smear preparations, either due to dry tap or smear mishandling. The fresh marrow core biopsy is placed directly from the Jamshidi biopsy tool onto a glass slide. Another slide is then gently touched to the bone core several times in printing cells from the core onto that slide. The imprints are then air dried completely and sent to ProPath for staining. Once all smear preparations are complete, the marrow core biopsy is placed into one of the two formalin-filled plastic bottles and the leftover clotted aspirate is placed onto the other. These plastic bottles are sealed into the small plastic baggie. This prevents formalin fumes from destroying the marrow and blood smear preparations during transport. The specimens are then sent to ProPath for processing.